Theory questions in accounting can be quite challenging, so what we'll do is come up with a recommended structure uh, we can follow whenever we're answering a theory question. First thing we'll do is identify the applicable qualitative characteristic or accounting principle that we think applies in this situation. Second thing we'll do is then define that qualitative characteristic or accounting principle. And lastly, what we'll do is relate that qualitative characteristic or accounting principle to the case study that you've been given. Let's look at an example. Let's pretend we were given the following question. The owner of a small business has decided to omit cents from figures listed in the balance sheet. Explain whether the owner is correct in doing this. So the first thing I'm going to do is identify a qualitative characteristic or accounting principle that I think applies. So in this case, I'm going to go with the accounting, uh, sorry, the qualitative characteristic of relevance. I'm then going to define it. So relevance states that only information which influences, influences decision making should be included in the firm's financial records. And then lastly, I'll relate it to this case study. At this point in time, I haven't actually said anything about the question I've been asked. So relating, it's very important. And we're going to say, in this case, the omission of sense is not material enough to affect any decision the owner makes based on the figures in the balance sheet. Now, obviously, in accounting, we're not given uh, dot points or we try not to use dot points where possible when answering questions. If you are going to use dot points, it's recommended they are in full sentences. Uh, what is preferable, though, is that you write in paragraphs or in a series of paragraphs. So all I'm going to do is use the box that I've been provided, which is quite typical of what we're given in accounting. This is uh, an explain question and transfer the answer I came up with on the previous slide to this uh, box in a set of paragraphs. So the first thing I did was I identified the owner is correct in making this decision due to the concept of relevance. The second thing I did was I then defined relevance, which was all about decision making. And the last thing I did was I then related it to the case study. So I said, you can leave the sense out because they're not material enough to affect decision making. And there you've got a very coherent, very structured uh, paragraph that answers the question. And this is a recommended structure you can follow for most theory questions in accounting.